Welcome to the Go Tropical channel. Today's subject, we are going to be talking about pineapples. And I'm going to show you how you can go from a pineapple that you buy from the store, how you can grow your very own pineapples at home, just like the one you have behind me, with not too much difficulty. Have a look. So when it comes to growing uh, tropical plants, particularly here in a UK climate that is a climate that's less than tropical, uh, you need to look at things that can be suitable for container growth. Uh, pineapple plants are very, very adaptable to being grown in containers. They actually fruit and do quite well in relatively small containers. Uh, they don't take up a huge amount of space, uh, but very quickly you'll see that if you start growing pineapples, you'll end up with uh, more pineapple plants than you really know what to do with and that you need. Uh, they produce so many suckers and slips uh, that you generally have plenty of plants. There's never a shortage. Uh, the idea of growing pineapples in the UK is nothing new. Uh, the practice has actually been done for probably the last three, four hundred years. Uh, back in even in Victorian times, uh, it was a, a, a standard thing that people would grow pineapples in hot houses, greenhouses, places like that. Um, and even further back, it was considered a very posh thing if you had a pineapple at your dinner party. Uh, you could even hire pineapples to have to impress your guests and then you'd hand them back at the end of the day. Um, but really what I want to discuss is why would you grow your own pineapple when you can buy them for literally a, a pound at the shop? Well, first of all, it's fun okay, to grow anything. When, you, when you're a gardener, it's not just about receiving the product at the end it is the process of growing it uh, and uh, from the beginning and seeing it all the way through to eventually the fruiting stage it's a part of the enjoyment of just growing things. if you're a gardener you enjoy that kind of thing and, and you, you'll get it as to why you do that uh, the, the fact that it takes probably three years from a pineapple top to a fruiting plant is sometimes it's a good thing you know sometimes it's good to, to have a bit of patience it's not the only thing you'll probably have going on in the garden you'll be growing other things so in the meantime whilst that is growing on the background you'll be watching other things until you get to a stage you'll actually you realize actually your pineapple has started to flower and you start to get fruit off of it um, and then you actually get to enjoy the work that you put in three years ago asparagus beds are another one you know you, you, you plant them in and, and you got to think okay I've got to wait two three years before I'm gonna actually get a decent crop off of this stuff so patience is sometimes a good thing when it comes to gardening uh, pineapples are actually one of the uh, great plants to grow here in the UK if you're into growing tropicals because they're so well suited to it uh, you can move them in and out of a greenhouse during any cold weather that you get and really all they need is something like a, a five liter container which they have down here uh, some well-drained acidic soil and you're good to go uh, to really when you when you're thinking about growing a pineapple from from a start uh, you'll have your plant like this uh, all you'll do is literally twist the top off and take that and put this the green part into some soil and just keep it moist and keep it in a warm place this time of year is a good time to start doing that uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube and various methods that do it but the simplest way is to take the top, peel off a few leaves off the bottom, stick it in some soil and you're good to go. Just keep it damp, uh, not too wet because it will rot um, and not too dry either. But they actually, once they're established and once they've got their roots down, the plant is actually quite drought tolerant. You'll find that you'll then get to the, the next stage of a pineapple plant is that you'll start to get your shoots coming out the top here uh, once it gets rooted. So this is probably about a six month old plant that I've got growing here. Uh, again, not particularly a very big container. They're quite good to be placed around, you know, in, in a greenhouse uh, or something like that. When the weather's warm, they can come outside. They will get from the small stage up to the bigger stage within a couple of years. After about two years, you will then see the flower develop right down in the center. This is then what will then grow up. It will push up through. Uh, the, the leaves. It is a uh, bromeliad, part of the bromeliad family, so it flowers through the center. Uh, and then the berries will then flower individually. And the, the, the berries, once they get pollinated, they fuse together to create the pineapple fruit, which is what you see. They're actually a strange fruit in themselves. Um, and then once they kind of then fuse together, 
then that will just gradually over a period of months probably about nine ten months from flower to ripe fruit and so it's a, again it's a waiting process uh, but then you'll gradually see it turn from the green color into the golden color that we have on the side there getting back to the main point as to why you would want to grow your own pineapple one because you're not going to taste a pineapple like that from one that you bought from the shop they are picked really before they're fully ripe fully developed in, in their in the sugar levels and so one any fruit really that is actually tree ripened or plant ripened is going to taste way better than anything else that you're going to buy so two years from planting a top to getting it up to a size like the plants that we have behind me here these are about two years old that one was two years old when it first set up flower and now we're about 10 months on that now fruit is ready to harvest and to enjoy i'll just show you a bit close up so you can have a, a closer look at what's going on down here so you can see here the pineapples in their different stages so we have the smaller ones right here at the front uh, slightly larger and then the bigger ones over the back uh, and you can see that the size of the container that they're grown in they're about five uh, liter containers which is generally big enough for growing any of the pineapples is one with the fruit you can see the size of the fruit against my hand it's not a bad size pineapple but it's a foot for a first pineapple uh, underneath it you'll see these uh, slips which these can then be planted and you'll grow pineapples a bit quicker from rooting because you have no issues with rooting like you do from a top so once you start getting plants going you will then have more than enough you won't I, don't, I haven't had to propagate any more uh, from tops these these are all plants from slips and suckers now uh, so this is have a slip here and then down the base here this is a sucker coming off the plant once the fruit is harvested the main plant here is done this plant here will then take its place so it's good to leave uh, a pineapple uh, sucker in you can take off any if it produces more you can just take them out and you can plant them up like i've done here with these other ones uh, but there's and the same with the slips they can be planted as well so one fruit harvested and you get one two three plants coming oh i did get four because i planted these up four plants to replace it so kind of the same way that bananas work once the fruit once they're fruited uh, then they're harvested the plant dies but you've got all the pups to take the place uh, the next thing now that we're going to do is we're going to harvest the fruit off of here and we can see what it actually tastes like to see whether it's worth the three years that it's taken to get to this point uh, and uh, see if it's worth the wait. So here you can see the fruit, the slips that we've got underneath here. And literally all you need is a pair of secateurs and just to cut the thing off straight through the top there and we can replant the slips and they will make more plants after that. So cut through one pineapple so you can see the fruit that we have here nice pineapple it's not a bad size really if we compare the one that we've got from the shop is the one that we've just harvested uh, again you can't compare the, look at the color difference kind of in them the slips that are on the the, the, the bottom here you literally just can, can break those off they will then form new plants you can put those in so we get two plants Ow, they're a bit spiky two plants off of this so there you go that's for that and this is our fruit so let's cut it up and see what it tastes like <coughs> so here we have our amazing pineapple oh, you, if you could smell this it smells so sweet so sugary so let's try it cut off the top Ooh. <laughs> don't know if you can quite see that glistening in there so juicy it's just it tastes so good I don't think you can ever really get fruit that tastes better when it is ripened in the sun warmed in the sun and then picked in the sun 
and the pineapple really is so good. Mm. You can see the juice coming out everywhere. And I'm not saying this just tastes good because I've grown it. Might have a part to do with it. But it really does taste so sweet, so sugary. It's got to be the best pineapple I've ever tasted. So there you go. It just shows how it is completely possible in the UK to grow your own pineapples. Put them, starting from a top. If I wanted to, I could start this from a top. Put it in some soil. A couple of years time, uh, overwinter them in a, an unheated uh, greenhouse. Keep them on the dry side during winter. Don't let them get too wet over winter. Let them overwinter there. And then if you, you can keep them in the, in the right kind of conditions, in three years time, you can be enjoying your own homegrown pineapples just like this one. Anyway, take care and I'll see you all soon.